Hey love bugs, it's Riles and Mecca you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Um, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. With that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, if you feel like the videos just really give you a good vibe, you know, go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It would be greatly appreciated. Send so much love, light, protection, upliftment, wherever it's truly needed. You know, um, and anybody who's coming to the video, coming towards my videos, I always tell y'all I'm divinely protected and heavily loved. So if you're doing anything that is negative, you know, distraction, destroy, whatever, I'm sending that back to you ten times fold. It's up I'm sending mine with love, light, upliftment, and extra healing. Because I think you need it. Okay. So the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's wake up call. You're um, at a crossroads. Choose wisely. This one decision of life is becoming uh, of life becoming destroyed or you know creating abundantly. And it's true. You know you having to really make wise decisions. It's just like you know um, life can really you know send you a curveball and mishaps or you know just bring extreme blessings into your life and a lot of times we don't notice that the things that come and destroy is actually helping you get a chance to rebuild different things and it was just like when I had to allow myself to you know start choosing my life you know being able to be with oneself and being able to say you know I want my life to be better I want uh these different things that I got to face you know it's hard but I'm allowing myself to take one day at a time you know you can't figure out life within itself on what you're planning to do how you want it to unfold you know we don't have control over all those things but it's just like only thing we do have control over is how we go about it how do we look at it how we move forward um, are we allowing ourselves to be stagnant? Are we getting complacent? Are we not wanting to do the work because it's too hard? Or, you know, you're allowing yourself to take the risk, you know. It, it, even if you make a wrong decision and you're allowing yourself to venture into that, it's, it's allowing you to, you know, that really speaks volumes into your life. You can really see uh, the different things that take place into your life that, you know, even though I, the, the situation didn't work out the way I wanted it to, uh, what was it trying to teach me? It's like even that's where your 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 life wasn't meant to go that way. But universe guided you that way to see if you're gonna allow yourself to step out of comfort zones, do uh, different things that you're not used to doing, or you're you're doing different things that you know you may be scared to do, but you're allowing yourself to step out in faith, and that's what you're doing. You know, it's been so many different things has been going on. It was just like y'all, it it's just been crazy. Uh, it was just like for the last few days, it's like um. I allowed myself to, uh, you know, just go out in, in nature, you know, universe talking about, you know, go take a nature walk, you know, go do this. And I, you know, I've been walking, you know, every few days or whatever. And I started noticing it was the same, same person that I kept running into every single time. Now, mind you, it's a like different you know different times of the day you know because it's just like you'll notice like when you're walking you know it's where i'm at you know you can go to walmart and all these different things that's close by to the house so it's just walking distance for me so it would be just like okay this is a good walk you get being active you know you're being productive you know go ahead and do this and i started noticing why do i always keep constantly you know the, it, it was just the vibes was weird you know it was like it gave me creeper vibes like you know what's going on because it was just like okay let me let me not you know freak out because it's like first time i seen them it it was weird you know you, you usually you pass by you know you're going to people and you passing by and you know you say hey you know how you doing or if it's somebody you know you know you, you know you spit a couple of you know words whatever y'all talk and then you meet up later or whatever it's like hey you know call me later or hey you know we link up you know go to the bar have drinks whatever blah 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 and i started noticing every time i leave my house i keep seeing the same person i was just like and when they're doing it, it's like when I see them, all of a sudden they want to start walking real, real slow. Or they keep on adjusting their hood to make sure I'm not seeing their face. Or if I go past them, they always keep doing this. I'm just like, and I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and walk tomorrow. I'm going to see if this, you know, I'm sitting up here testing the theory. And I'll be dead. I'm seeing the same person again. Now, it'll be different. Like, okay, you know, if we work and walking at the same time, it's like, okay, maybe he's walking, you know, to school. Or maybe he's, uh, you know, walking to work. 
or he's just walking. You know, I meet a lot of different people like that when I always used to walk all the time. And it was just like, you know, any other time you don't see somebody trying to hide their face unless you're up to something. Or, you you know, you're trying to be sneaky and nosy about different things. And I said, I noticed it was just like this every time I noticed every time I leave the house, I thought it was just like three days in a row. But then when I started thinking back. Every time I left my house, I would constantly keep running into this dude. Like, if I'm going down the hill to go to the dollar store or I'm just walking just around the neighborhood or whatever, I keep constantly meeting you and passing. And it's like, oh, okay, I'm on my way home, and then you're walking again. And then I, you know, and I act like I ain't, you know, paying attention. Next thing you know, I see you turn around and see what I'm doing. And it was just like real creeper vibe. And I'm just like, this has been happening every single time that I leave my house. I keep constantly, you know, seeing this dude at the same time because i'll notice it'll be different times like if it was the same time i wouldn't think nothing of it but it's like why are you trying to be so hard on, on slowing down you know why, why are you keep on trying to ease back like you're doing some undercover stuff and i said is the struggle that real when i'm only minding my business why do i even i say i gotta worry about you sending people to keep tabs on me while i'm out at home too and then, on next thing you know it was just like I went ahead and called the police station and let them know this is what I'm going through. And it just so happened, this is how small the world is. I got a friend I used to, you know, work with that uh, just so happened to work at the, at the police station. I don't tell them what happened and stuff like that. It was like, yeah, that is kind of fishy. You know, people are not going to, you know, if you don't know that person, why are you slowing down? You know, why are you trying so hard to cover your face? And, you know, why are you all up in, you know, trying to see what I'm doing and stuff like that? And it asked me, you know, you don't, do you have a description of a person? And I'm just sitting up here, you know, um, while I was on here talking to him, I was just go ahead and deleting different stuff and didn't realize when I was doing a, um, it was something I was recording on a short or whatever and didn't realize I had the dude in the background on my daggone video. And I was just like, what the hell? Then I went, so I was like, hey, check this out. This is going to be weird, but I actually have the description of the person in my phone. And didn't even realize it because I was, you know, sitting up here. There was beautiful butterflies outside and wanting to really show it and didn't realize I had the person that was following me in the video. And I'm just like, you know, because I said I would show it, but it will be different places in my, you know, in my neighborhood. I really didn't want people to see because it has, you know, streets and stuff like that. But it was really crazy when I actually found out I you know did not realize I actually take this person she was just like that must be a sign but it was at that point where you know I'm you know I'm minding my business you know it's just like different things that I go through I'm always wondering why people you know why are you watching me so much you know it's just you know even when y'all hear me here I said I got enemies that's always watching you know with, with my situation where I'm just just really trying to get peace in my life you know I got too much going on and it's just I want to be left alone but it just seems like even when I'm you know focusing on me I got gazillion people you know in the house outside the house always trying to worry about what I'm doing and I said what do you put on you know, wait, when did you put so much interest in my life on what I'm doing you know why don't you see you see how I'm healing you know, seeing where I'm minding my business, why don't you go do that? You know, why don't you go focus on yourself? You you need to be quit worrying about what I'm doing. And it just got to that point where people are making it obvious that, you you know, you're spying on me. I was, you know, got hidden cameras in my house. You know, every time I'm doing videos, you got people standing at your door watching you doing this and this and that. And it's just like when I wanted that attention, I didn't get it. Now, when I don't want the attention... It's just like I can't even sneeze without that being dictated, you know, it, it was just like I had to be able to step back and it's like now making a conscious note of the decision, you know, I was just like you keeping tabs on me. I don't focus on, you know, what female or what dude or whatever y'all are doing, whatever, you know. It was just a prime example. It's just like, you, you know, you be having folks in rotation to be, you know, different holes in different area codes, you know, just the song I ain't trying to call nobody a hoe. But it was just like at that point, I don't worry about the stuff you're doing. You know, do I worry about what female you're sleeping with today or who you're trying to set up here and manipulate today or what kind of drama you're trying to add on somebody tomorrow? I'm focusing on me. I say everything that's going on is always making me work extra hard so I can get away from this because it's too much. And it's just like you're at that crossroads where, you know, things are going to have to change. You know, there will be different times where I can just be sitting up here and I'm rolling my eyes because, you know, dealing with different folks that are, you know, you are triggering people 
when you're changing. And it's just like, if I'm focusing on myself, you know, I'm, you know, I'm healing, I want to be positive, you know, allowing myself to use these situations to make me really maintain on focusing. Because a lot of times, universe will put you in an upheaval type vibrations to see are you going to allow these certain things to still you know irritate you are you going to allow yourself to focus on this or are you going to use that as that tool to be the fuel for you to be getting the heck on and get away from all this situation because it's just like you know you got to deal with people that are always trying to take you know little personal jabs at little things like that and I'm just like Oh, you're at that again. Okay, you just go ahead and keep doing it. It's like when I allow myself to do different things and stuff like that, all of a sudden I get the gas face like, oh my God, she's finding out a new talent. Oh my God, why don't she stop? You know, oh my God, why she keep doing this? And it, it, it's just like, you know, it just go, just being able to go about my business and just really understanding I, this is that wake up call just allow yourself to keep focusing on you you know you're gonna have different people if they fear that you're gonna leave them behind with the situation you got you gonna, you already know desperate time gonna come for desperate measures you know I see how my daughter's being used as the pawn to be able to add more aggravation towards my life like why why do y'all keep doing different things like this to try to really get up under my skin but then it's using and it's just like when I see that different things are taking place to where this used to irritate me or you know or this is the thing that used to really piss me off or you know I got OCD you know this this is the different things that's going on you know and it comes back to you oh you know this person's just so stressed out because you're doing this and this and that I'm like now where am I at when all this stuff is going on because I, I'm, I'm really trying to understand when this happened you know and it be in those different situations like I'm only I'm focusing on me I'm focusing on getting away from you I'm focusing on you you know you 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 got too much going on to be worried about what I'm doing. You need to be focusing on yourself because if you knew what I knew, you wouldn't be worried about me. Your focus would be on you, you know. And it will be different times where I always had to constantly deal with somebody always trying to make me mad. Or they get really cocky with themselves. And it's just like I notice when people get really cocky. And when you know you you doing different things, like you keep poking up the bear, you keep on trying to get a reaction out of somebody, because mainly I, I guess that's what you do with other folks. And they're about that toxicity. I don't trauma bond with nobody anymore. I don't, you know, I'm not based on codependency. You know, I'm, I'm trying to sever the heck out of the goddamn on karmic cycle to where you know I say if I gotta use a blowtorch to get the heck away from you, I'm gonna do that. You know, it's allowing me, you know, go ahead and use different meditations so I can allow myself to really see this situation is like you know you're healing because of different things that they're doing you know you got to deal with people that are older than you that act, you know they, they got that that preschool or you know middle school IQ and you know you're using these different things like I'm using you as a fuel because I notice if I don't make my choices the right one I'm gonna be like that and, you know or if I keep focusing on other people when is it gonna give me my time to focus on me you know and it'll be different times where I you know I really say I dodged a bullet on so many different things and it's like I, I'm not giving you that advantage it's like I notice that every time I'm a, you know I'll do a video I can I notice when certain things is taking place where you know I'm telling the truth and you don't like that it's not you know it's not keeping up with the story that you keep on trying to tell people because you like playing victim because that gets you the attention you need you know I'm at that point where um, when I allow myself to not engage in toxicity and I keep on helping you be a tone for your, your bad, you know, your bad choices that you make or I allow myself to put boundaries up and I'm not going back and forth with you, you know, I can say what I got to say, you know, because it's like you don't have to be, you know, walking on eggshells because you're around toxic people because anything that is going to uh, be a, a, a potential direction on healing or doing things the right way they don't want to hear that they want to be able to do that and I became understanding of that because I said I can't force anybody to heal but I'm gonna just keep focusing on me but if it's gonna be that time where you're constantly trying to go out your way to disturb my peace or you know see things where you going all the way out your way to try to make me just and I'm just like I'm working on myself you know I'm healing myself this is not something I'm even attracted to anymore it's just like all my my uh, veils it's just been snatched up and I'm just like this is what this was this whole time you know this is what I was attracted to these are the different things that I used to cry over and I'm just looking like girl no uh-uh <laughs> I was like no 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 and I actually can say I appreciate I always tell my ex you know I appreciate the things that you do 
you know, you do for me because it always allowed me to know this is not what love is. And I always tell people, love is not going to hurt. Love is going to challenge you to become a better person. You know, see the things within yourself. It's going to be communication. You know, you're not competing. I said, how is a man going to sit up here and compete against a woman? That, that's more womanly things that pe women do. You know, why, why is a man competing yourself against them? You know, it's like your relationship is not based on competitor. You know, being a competitor, y'all are within that team. And it just allowed me to see, you know, this is what I want in a relationship. And it's like everything that I want, that person doesn't have. But I'm glad that they helped me do that. And I always told them, I said, I'm glad you put me through the things you put me through. Because I'll never let another man do that to me. You know, I didn't love myself. I didn't love you. You didn't love me. That was based off of toxic trauma bonding, love bombing. You know, being able to sacrifice myself. You know, I was constantly trying to prove loyalty to people that wasn't even showing loyalty to me. You know, constantly sacrificing my love, my self worth towards people that was not doing the same thing to me. Because I always try to tell people, you know, when you go through these different things, I learn so much about my toxic attachments. I learn so much from my karmic. Uh, you know relationships and it, it was like these are the different things that helped me you know that was that wake-up call so now allowing myself to become uh, bitter or triggered you know if the person want to make fun of my weight or you know you trying to do little jabs and stuff like that you know only people do that when they're insecure you know because it's just like people that have a conscience people that are secure about themselves they're not going to poke and probe on different things when somebody went through depression like I tell people yeah I went through depression I was an emotional eater yeah I gained a lot of weight but I allowed myself to accept myself for where I am you know it, I always had to tell myself it could have been a lot worse with everything that you got going on in your life it could have been a lot worse and it's just like when you see different things where universe is pinpointing you know you when you're allowing yourself to see that when you're growing and you're healing and you're not allowing yourself to connect with, you know, toxicity, negativity, like those things will eat you up. And I see what that does. That mess ages you, you know. And I know I said it was always weird. It just seems like the more we heal, the time goes backwards. But it's just like, well, I know you putting different things on people. You hoping different things. You constantly calling drama. That must be the, up your age process. You know, you be 50 and then you looking like you in your 90s and stuff like that. And I'm just like, ooh. You know, I'm like, God, dog. You know, I don't be paying attention to stuff like that. When I finally look at somebody, I'm like, damn, what happened to you? You know, and just really be looking. And it was just like, if you keep living your life the way they keep doing it, this is what's going to happen. You know, allowing myself to focus on what I need to have healed. Because it's just like when focus, people are constantly, you know, wanting to hurt you or, you know, constantly throwing things out where they're trying to do things that hurt you or keep you in that distraction. I had to allow myself to know what that is going on is the distraction. You know, if you aren't really being that potential threat, why are they having people follow you around? Why do they have hidden cameras in the house when you're not doing anything? I said, my life is boring. You know, why are you allowing yourself to focus on me? Because it's like when you, I don't let the left hand know what the right hand doing. And it's just like, they know if I get out of this vicinity, it's a wrap for you. <laughs> you know, I ain't going to have to worry about you. I'm doing everything I possibly can to get the heck away from, you know, negativity. I just don't have time to be going you know, tit for tat with folks that, you know, I, I don't got time for man child. I don't have time for woman child. I'm like, I'm grown. I'm, I'm making boss move decisions on where I'm trying to make my life a look, look, you know, a lot better than what it is now. But doing that learning experience, you know, I was taking cautious decisions on, you know, I can lead down this road because I know a lot of people are, you know, you've probably been getting like different, if it's not different dreams or different synchronicities where it's showing you, you're coming to a fork in the road. And these are the different things like this is your wake up call. It's like, you know, you want bigger and better in your life. You're going to have to put in that work. You're going to put in that work and it's not going to be easy. These are the different things that universe and God, as well as the devil, are putting in your life. You know, these are the obstacles you're going to have to worry, uh, not worry about. But these are the obstacles you're going to have to face. These are the different things. We're going to put toxic people in your life. We're going to put insecure people in your life. But we're also going to bring you, you know, positive people in your life. People that want to see you grow. People, are, you know, it's like, girl, how did you do that? Or, you know, you know, I'm going through these different things in your life. Do you have tips or, you know, or, or you're... I'm 
asking that you know this is how did, were you able to overcome this or did you have these different strategies where you know you had resistance into your life because these are where we get our strength and our power from when we have these constant speed bumps into our lives because it's just like if it's a straight shot you know you're not gonna really learn anything you're not gonna really appreciate things when you hit different milestones but it's just like when you're going through different things you know I got to deal with toxic a, a toxic environment when I'm trying to be positive you know I always tell people it, it's like nobody's perfect you know it got to that point where you know um I'm always constantly having different things coming at me. Oh, you know, your, your ex is saying this and this and that about you. Or, you know, we're constantly playing victim and stuff like that. And I'm just like, if that if, if that's what gets you attention, you go ahead. You know, I'm not going to constantly keep trying to correct the lies you have. Because that means I'm worrying about what other people are doing. and worrying about what other people are saying. But it was just like, you know, with that situation, I can't even leave my house without you having people follow me. And I'm just like... I mean, if, if I'm going to go see somebody, even though I don't, you know, deal with nobody like that, but what is it your business? <laughs> you know, I don't be following behind you when you doing all the little dirt you're doing. I don't worry about that. Actually, I love it when I'm here by myself. It gives me a breather where I don't have to deal with that, you know, that, that heavy energy. Because I notice the more I start cutting away from my life and nothing that truly no longer serves me, I start noticing how the shift within vibrations really is it's like i'm not gonna allow myself if you can't meet me at my vibration when it's right here you know it wasn't meant for you to be able to be in that contact when i allow myself to not uh when i see that you're going out your way to try to make me jealous or something i'm like there's nothing about you that makes me jealous you know i said i, I, I was like it was as quiet as it kept i pray for anybody who's connecting with you on that vibration because they're gonna need it they're gonna put you through a whole thing but it'll be just like you know hopefully they'll probably learn lessons like i did you know and they'll find out and it's just like i had to be able to allow myself to see where universal say you know this th you see where that road is that they're taking to go this way where they're constantly trying to you know they want to be you know these are toxic people these are the different things where you're not allowing yourself to heal you know you're you're bleeding on people that didn't even cut you um and you're you're paying attention to things that are not really important towards your growth. You always focus in on is this person trying to leave me and this and this and that. You trying to have control over my life. It's like nobody has control over their life. But one thing you're not going to do when I leave here, I'm not you're going to ever see me again. I was like, I'm not worried about all that. I'm ready to just move on with my life. You know, I said I'm ready to go into that step up to where I can look at different things that I've gone through and really, really appreciate that. Because it was just like, if I didn't go through these toxic relationships with this person, you know, I would have still been in that part where I'm sacrificing things that are sacred. You know, I'm not going to allow myself to do that. And it's just like, you know, when you're going through these uh, situations, I always tell people, when people are so negative and so triggering and so draining and so annoying, you're going to allow yourself to appreciate that because it's showing you uh, why are you tolerating stuff like that. You know, when people love you, they're not going to put you through these different challenges. It's like even I tell people when you're dealing with toxic relationships. And I was at that point where I had to learn the hard way. I'm not fighting over nobody. I'm not, you know, you hear about these different things where people are like, I'm like, what part, da, 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 da. I'm, or I'm going to get him, da, da, da. you know, and it's just like, you have to understand, and I even see it in this sad when I watch different, you know, these different crime, you know, videos that they have on you, uh, on YouTube, where you sit up here trying to prove your loyalty to somebody that is not even loyal to you. You you know, you're trying to show this person you really like, you know, if I kill this person, you know, then they're going to know my undying love. No, he's just going to be looking like, okay, you got that one out my way. And now it, it could be where you're seeing people losing their lives. Like, you know, took a, a father away from his wife and children. Or you done took a woman's life and you took her away from her babies. You know, and then the next thing you know, they don't lost the parent. Or if you have kids now, you don't lost, you know, your kids don't lost the parent because that person is it, it done passed on and now your butt is in in the penitentiary you know and it was just like is that person you know that you sit up here and prove your loyalty to is that person gonna sit up here and visit you you know on those days when you need a visit or is that person gonna put you know money on your books for you to get commissary no they working on the same person working on the next person uh, seeing how they can pull schemes over that person too because a lot of times you know i tell people you got to be careful of the things that you tell people and i had to learn that you know, when you're getting to know somebody and, you know, you're trying to see it further, you don't never tell a lot, you know, tell people your weaknesses. Don't ever tell them the things that make you mad because it's just like when people are, are grimy like that, they will use those exact same things to control you. 
you know, if they they know, oh, well, let me go ahead and give her a couple of cash, you know, she need this. Next, you know, you see that they're controlling you with money. Or it's just the fact that they'll make you think that, okay, I'm talking to this person. So they kind of control you to make sure you, you know, you're doing everything you can, you know, to keep that person. Like, no, she cannot have my man, this and this and that. I said, look, I, I don't have to, you know, really look at life. If your man done dipped and dabbed in something else, that was never your man. You don't want somebody that's easily influenced to be tempted like that because that mess is very dangerous. It's dangerous to your health because you don't know. A lot of people out here are grimy. They they have these different things. It's just like even the energies, you know, it, a lot of times that's more powerful than the, than the you no know, infections that you be catching. You know, and it, it'll be at that those different things where these are where these crossroads of decisions is really taking you. So I had to be able to learn this situation with this, I'm glad I went through that. You know, not as any time when I see that, you know, it would, it would be at times where I really felt sorry for my ex. You know, my, my, I don't even want to personally. I was saying, baby, daddy, but, uh, you know, for him, like that, you know, because of, of different things that you know you don't want to heal from. You, you you just constantly keep doing this. It's like you you get more attention by saying things that are not true, or you know, trying to make people look at you a certain way because you don't want to be judged then you know you're keeping it real you know it's just like I had to be at that point where you know I, I can't be around people that will lie about what they had for breakfast so that means like if you lie over little petty stuff you don't lie about big stuff you know if you're trying to do everything you can to make me jealous about this person I'm not gonna fight over that you know I'll be just like oh that wasn't my man because I was at that point where when I'm starting to see people losing their freedom and losing their lives over somebody that's doing this to every single person I said I'm not gonna do that because it's like the next person I'm gonna be with is gonna be with me and only me you know we're gonna build together we're gonna grow together you know we're you know we're gonna have an empire of our own you know we're gonna see each other as a team I can be vulnerable with this person this person's not gonna use my weaknesses to control me or different things to try to trigger me and I had to learn all these different things and I tell people allow that person to feel like whatever they connect them with is better over there and I'm not saying the next person you deal with is not bad, you know, or anything like that. But allow that person to do that. When they feel like they, you know, grass is greener on the other side, not, a lot of times it's not. You know, you just had to keep working and fertilizing this to make that mess grow. And it's just like, let that person do that. You know, they were working on somebody being a headache for somebody else. You're working on becoming a blessing for somebody else. A lot of times people will, will be in your life just to make you a better person for the next one that God actually has for you. You know, and I had to be able to do that. You know, be different friends like, you know, Roz, I don't see how you do it. You know, you stay single, you, you, you know, stay in celibate and stuff like that. I said, after I went through the stuff that I went through my ex, I, when I say I really appreciated that. And he, he, he think I'm trying to lowball him and stuff like that. I said, I'm being serious, you know, because I never want to run into anybody else like you like that. Ain't, ain't no way. This is how you lose your sanity, you know, dealing with stuff like that. But I can use that situation as that stepping stone to what choices I make better when I want, you know, regular relationships. It's not just with people and relationships with relations, but people within a whole. You know, what do I have to do? And I noticed that, I'm, you know, I got more people that are coming towards my way that is encouraging. Or, you know, people coming towards my way that we're on that same vibe. It's like I'm not being drained because you're an energy vampire. I'm not being drained because you lowball, you know, you want to keep making little jokes and stuff like that because I see you a low-key hater. You know, different stuff like that. And it allowed me to know, even when I'm by myself, it may be lonely. But I know that universe and God is, you know, they're they're pulling on the structure where they're going to pull people in my life that's going to take me to that next level. Not even realizing, even the toxic people are letting you, uh, you know, helping you get to the next level. Because there'll be different things where I can sit back and you have to, a lot of times you can be going through stuff and you're like, why is this person hurting me? Why is this and this and that? And it's just like, when you see that somebody doesn't know your worth, you have to know your worth. If you have to tell somebody to make a choice, it's either between me and him or it's between me and her, you choose yourself. Don't allow somebody to have to do that because they should have seen your worth the first time. Don't be with somebody that you really want to grow with because you feel like, you know, because it'll be different times where I felt like I couldn't get anything better than that. That's what I deserve. And I'm like, shit, I deserve a lot more better than that. But this is that one that is going to help me use that to make, make sure this is not what I want in my life.
this is not what I need in my life. I'm ready to part ways and move on. You know, you see different things to where people are trying to control your life to where it feels like, you know, I, on that vibe, like I was telling y'all in that one video, it's like, oh, if you can't beat them, you want to join them. You know, since you feel like everything that you possibly did that you thought was going to either kill me or bring me down, it never did that. It always made me a lot stronger. So since you can't do that, you want to do, you know, candle love spells and binding spells and dif different stuff like that, and it's not working. I always tell people, if you you got to sit up here and do a uh, magic spell to have somebody love you. Don't do that. It'd be that one that you thought you, you probably was lukewarm for. And next thing you know, that person going to have your butt sitting up here jumping in a boiling hot you know, pot, pot of water. Don't do that. You know, I've seen just from craft. Anybody ever seen a movie with craft where, where all that different stuff on? They end up putting, um, what was like Billy Loomis, the guy who played Billy Loomis in Scream. She ended up putting a dag on hex on that dude. And now he's up here stalking, you know, outside her. Uh, so I said that my nose started itching, like, woo. You know, but that, thank you God. It was like you on point. You know, you dealing with somebody that, you know, this, this can get serious. You know, and I see through all that, you know, it's just like, oh God, they're trying to, you know, make me come out of box. Oh God, you're trying to. Make me jealous. Oh, gosh. You're trying to sit up here. Trigger me. And it got to that point where I was really appreciating those things. Because when you started, you know, when you started knowing what was my weaknesses. You know, I love a clean smelling house. I like my house to be clean. I like it immaculate. I always got to have different, you know, aromas in the house to where it smells clean. I've always been like that. You, well, you'll do everything you possibly can. Put dirt all over the house after I mopped. Or, or you'll spill something and not put it back up. Or, you know, you let the... You know, the cat sit up here and mark territory in the bathroom knowing that mess stink. You know, different stuff like that. And I had to be, that is out of my control. You know, if people weren't so insecure about what you're doing and they, you know, they want to see you grow, they're not going to be doing stuff like that. They see that you're ready to get away from them. He always does. I'm not trying to be with you. <laughs> you know, I appreciate it. You are blessed in so many different disguises. And not realizing that everything that I've gone through, even my darkest moments, was a blessing in disguise for me. It allowed me to go on that, that, that crossroads of where I can keep dealing with this and this going to lead me to death or locked up or whatever. You see what's going on. I told people what I was going through. And I already see where that's leading them to. You know, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm just pray for you. And at times, you know, like universe, like, mm -mm, don't pray for them. They're going to have to go through all that because they made those decisions. I shouldn't feel bad about somebody where you, you consciously not tell people you got to understand when you doing something and you know, doing something, it could be a 50, 50 chance. This, this may get you get unalive. You will be, you know, end up having being a hashtag or this is going to, you know, you may get away with that. I'm, so I'm not putting a situation where this is either can get me killed or put be in jail for a long time. I always tell people, the orange is the new black. It's not the new black, white, or blue for me. Uh-uh, I ain't got time for all that. You know, I ain't got no bail money. I ain't got time for that. I'm like, mm-mm. And I see the different things that people have done to me. And, you know, karma just ain't caught up with them yet. But it's coming fast. You know, I had to be able to step back, you know, and just seeing all the different things that I go through. And I'm just like, why are you trying to trigger me? That, don't tr that would have triggered me a couple of months ago or a couple of years ago. But I see what you're doing. You know, you're always trying to get a reaction out of me. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm trying to do that. But I'm just like, when you're positive and you focused on you, you wouldn't be doing different things to try to get a reaction out of me. And a lot of times you have to understand when you're dealing with toxic people or, or, or narcissistic people or a sociopath, psychopath, they're always going to do something to irritate you. They want to be able to control your life. I want to be able to sleep with a gazillion women. Or I want to be able to sleep with a gazillion men, but you got to stay in the house. Excuse me. You know, I'm not about to do that. Even though I don't deal with people like that, you can't make that choice for me. Because even if I did, I mean, you can't stop me. What are you going to do? <laughs> you know, you, you deal with whoever you want to at the day. You know, rotation, rotation, into rotation. I'm not worried about you. I'm just moving on with my life. But I use these examples. You see what you were tied into. This could be very dangerous. You know, it's just like, it, it's just like there's diseases out there. They ain't even got names for it yet. You know, it made me think about, you know, that the IG model they had out and I really that really just touched my heart with her. You know, it was sad, you know, she she caught, you know, HIV or I don't I think it was HIV or she got AIDS. I think she had AIDS, you know, and weight just drastically changed and it was just like, you know, start seeing symptoms on different people and it was like crazy where even your you know, your senses is getting up where you can even smell infections on people. And I mean it can be very clean, but it's just like if you sensitive to stuff like that, you can see Oh, you you going to the promised land, aren't you? 
you know, and be doing stuff like that. And I was just like, I'm so glad I took major bullets for that. You know, different, different things that goes on in people's life where, you know, at times, I, I'll be looking at my ex at times, you know what I'm saying? And I, at times, why well, I started feeling sorry. You know, I was just like, it, some people just don't have that, that willpower to want to change because they feel like that's going to be too much work. I'd rather go through that work or just line myself up to be, I don't want to die of a young age because I'm caught something I can't get rid of. Or I don't want to, you know, allow myself to be incarcerated for some stupid stuff out of clout, you know, or, you know, trying to steal something from somebody. I don't want a life like that. Even though it's hard to heal, it's hard to be able to face different things that you're going through. You know, it's hard to be able to let things go and just accept them for what they are, accept people for who they are. And it had to be at that point, and as soon as I said it got dog my nose, you know, I had to be able to allow myself, okay, he's, he's just a walking disaster, and I have to be able to accept that for that. You know, he's, you know, you want to be toxic, okay? I have to just, you know, accept that you just constantly want to be toxic. You don't want to hear anything unless it's stroking your ego. And I say, yeah, I'll become the man. I'll be the, everything in the book except the child of God and name of mama gave you when I hold you accountable for your actions. Or I'll allow you to say, oh, you ain't going to disrespect me. I'm not going to deal with it. Or if I'm just sitting up here making a statement and you want to argue, I'm going to just make that statement and keep walking. I'm like, hey, am I arguing with you? You want to argue? You want to be argumentative? You want to be combative? Maybe you're doing that by yourself. I can make a statement, move, and go on about my business and, and find something better constructive to do, you know, than argue, you know. And it was just really allowed me to know I really truly, uh, you know, benefited off of these toxic situations. And being able to show, like, if you, you're making the conscious corrections in your life, you see what bothers you. You see what things you have to let go of. You see what you need to be in peace at. You're seeing what what you're really wanting into life that sometimes it's going to take some elbow grease to be able to get it done. These are the things that's going to be worth it. If not, you're going to be a prime example of all of that. And I, I'm like, no, because I already see where that's leading him to. I, I don't need to be doing that. But I also, you know, I tell universe, I'm like, I'm glad you brought me him, him, me and him in that life because this is what's faded, you know, for me to have, have this situation that goes on. Because he taught, you know, he helped me become a, such a better what a woman and know my worth. And I used to tell him, I said, yeah, when I picked you, I was desperate. You picked for me, I was uh, settling, you know, different things like that. I didn't know my worth. I didn't love myself. And it's like when you're doing different things like that, situations take place like that. When it's showing you, when you have love for yourself, there's nothing that people are going to do. They're trying to come at you negative because they're wanting a reaction out of you. They want to see if they still got that control because this is when they know they're losing control when they don't have control over you. They're either manipulating you with sex, they're manipulating you with money, or they're, you know, they're trying to keep you in line because it's like, oh, I'm going to go deal with this person, you know, if you don't do what I say. I'm like, if you feel like you need to be with that person, you go ahead, but when you go over there, you stay over there. You know, I don't need stuff like that in my life. And it got to that point where that's exactly how I've been. Because it was just when I allowed myself to go through that healing process. Because if you allow yourself to jump into anything. Because it's like change is always a grieving process. Grief is not just about the people that are leaving our lives and transitioning to something else. Grief is when you're ending something to create something else. And that's all it is. It's a huge transition. And we had to be able to go through those grieving experiences to be able to see things like head on and a lot of times it's hard to do that because a lot of times when we're so focused on the negative at times it's hard for us to be able to see the underlying lessons that we're really needing to be taught and you know I'm going through that and it's just like when I see it you know it, it'll be different times where I'm just like you know you're dragging our daughter into this this is really desperate you're trying to make sure I don't go anywhere because you see I don't want to be with you anymore but you keep doing that and it's just like you know I, I you know my daughter's like 22 years old you already turned 22 and it, it was just like you know she grown you, you want to follow behind that you don't see that you're getting played I'm okay you know, I'm just like, you know, keep warning her. But it was just like, hey, you know, I got to do what I got to do. You know, I had to make a lot of sacrifices where I had to walk away from my children. And that was the worst thing I ever had to do. But it's just like if you're, you know, they're grown, you know, I can't force you to be in my life. There's a lot of, you know, children that grow up where when they reached 18, you know, the parents just, you know, just allow them to do what they want to do and, you know, go about their life. They're living a good life. They already raised their kids. And they, you know, they doing what they need to do. You know, some people get in empty nest syndrome and all that stuff. But I had to be able to make decisions that was very hard for me to be able to make. And you're going through those wake-up calls to where, you know, you are one decision away of a big glow-up. 
you know, and a lot of times things are going to get sticky. A lot of things is going to be heavy for you on the choices that you're going through because it's like when you always choose the high road to be able to go up on when you want to create something better into your life because my life was always a walking tragedy to me. You know, I was constantly in drama, you know, going through, you know, uh, DV, you know, domestic, <laughs> you know, different stuff like that. I see where that had me and it's just like, I, I, I'm tired of that life. That mess is so played out. You, you played out. All, all that stuff is played out to me. But I appreciate those different things that took place because this is where I know you're showing me exactly of nothing I want. You know, and a lot of time I keep on seeing that. It, you know, if you've been with me for a while, you know, you'll hear me say quotes and stuff like that. Where, uh, where it was just like a one where you know you can lose love out of sight, out of mind when those people are no longer in your life. It don't affect you. But when God makes you stand in front of that person, where you can laugh with them, you can see that person smile, you can see the kookiness within them, and you can just say, "You're not what I want." You know, that hits volumes for you. You know, you don't realize how you, you know the true intentions about somebody over a little tiny mistake and they blow up like this. And it was just like, why are you throwing this all out of proportion? And it would just be like, universe sent that to you. It's like, you, a lot of times you see how people really truly feel about you when they get angry. You know, and it'll be at those times where I, when I've gone through the things that I've gone through, when especially when it comes to my, you know, my relationships and stuff like that, I had to allow myself to not take it personal because it's just like, you know, you can go through these different things and you're trying to go through a checklist. Like I love that person. I was one to, you know, sacrifice and do, you know, little spontaneous kinky things or I did this, you know, I did that, you know, I gave my hall pass, you know, and different things that people do that I will not do, you know. Um, that was going on and it's just like when you're with somebody then those are the priceless things that person that truly loves you is not gonna make you do that sacrifice and I always tell people love is not supposed to hurt you know and it was that when I look back at my situation with that cuz I told people you know I've been going through that for 15 years I know them for 21 and it was like that was embarrassing to me because it took me that long to have to know my worth and it was just like you know sometimes it takes people a little bit longer than it is because it was just like Toxicity was a part of the lifestyle with me. If anything was positive and people aren't arguing, getting drunk and ready to, you know, start cutting folks up, I wasn't used to that. I was like, that's normal. And they're like, girl, yeah, what <laughs> you know, but it wasn't normal in my household. So it was just those are the different things. Like, you know, I told him, you are a prime example of a blessing to me because I will never attract anything like that again, you know, because I allow myself to know, you know, if you, if this is all about, you know, I'm not going to be loyal to somebody who, you know, it's not going to show loyalty back. I'm not going to show love to somebody and, and keep proving I love them when they're not loving myself. You know, nobody can't love you if they don't love themselves. And you know they're not loving themselves if they're constantly doing things that can really be dangerous. You know, you, you mess around with multiple men or multiple women. You know, different toxic situations where they're constantly, you know, wanting to, you know, use people or use certain things that they know is is a sensitive subject to you to make you hurt. You know, those are the different things that that's not love. You know, if you have to, you know, you have to make somebody keep choosing between you and five or six other men or five or six other women, you have to be able to choose you. It, that person should have been able to see your worth and who you are the first time. People will, when they don't value you and they don't, they, you, you are priced this way too high. They, they can't afford it, so they discard you. You know, they, they, they discard you and they distance themselves from you because there's something about you that is too rich for them to be able to, you know, to be able to afford. And a lot of times that can feel really sad. Like, why you don't want me? And I'm like, look, it be certain times when I've gone through the things I've gone through and I look now. I was like, and when I see the stuff that I'm seeing now, I done dodged so many daggone bullets. I've dodged so many bullets. Because it's like the situation for me changing. The people that I'm around don't know. They think they know me, but they don't know the new me. You know, the old me would have catered to different things. Like the old me would have just went popping off because I know that's, you know, they're getting empowered by, by negativity. But it just gets to the point where you can see when people are really getting desperate. When they're starting to bring children in, you're starting to bring other people in. You're really trying to do, I'm like, why are you doing this? this so much to distract me what is it that you're trying to show me and it'll be different things where I have to step back oh their fear of being left behind or their fear of where you know you made the wrong choice and you don't fumble the whole bag of a blessing you know you're doing these different things and it's just still allowing me to know because you deal with people 
that feel like, oh, if they block you from everything, that means you're not going to get your blessings. Or if I don't support that per support that per person, I'm not, they're not going to get that blessing. I say, you know what? Let me tell you a secret. That's not what blessings are based off of. It's not. You know, when you allow yourself to be, when you know you're doing good and you put in the work, that's what God's saying. When you see that he's exiting people out your life that he know is breaking his heart to see your heart get broken you have to be able to you can't be opening that door you know you're not don't sit up here and condone toxicity where a person can snap one day and want to be calling you all kind of daggone names in the book and then they act like nothing ever happened they want you to be able to you know be able to communicate with them when they want something and then when you need something they want to pop an attitude and stuff like that and i had to be able to allow myself to really appreciate those different things that i went through because it allowed me to know I know better, you know, I learn better, I heal better, you know, I know what I want in a relationship, I know how I want to be treated, I know what I'm going to deal with, what I'm not going to deal with, I, what things I'm not going to condone and not going to condone, what things I'm never going to entertain, you know, and those are the different things, it's like, when you're doing these little things, you still focus, you still got that image of me before I healed, that at one time would have really triggered me would have really put me out in that situation and I say you have to be a very low self-esteem of person when you waking up let me see how I can piss this person off and I'm just like that is it that and, and the struggle is real because when I be just look I get happy when I wake up and you're no ain't nothing around me it's just me and my cats and I'll be just that's just fine for me you know I don't, I don't it, it is very even though it's peaceful when they're here because I tone everybody out but it's really relaxing when other people aren't here so I said that doesn't bother me you know, because I laugh at different things where I see, I said, is this supposed to make me mad? Is this supposed to make me jealous? And I start busting out laughing. I said, I'm not. There's nothing about you that can make me jealous or anything. You know, it just allows me to know this is not, I will never make a choice like this ever again. But I needed that. That was a benefit of the choices of a wake up call that I can truly appreciate. Because a lot of times it's like people will say, God, dog, I must be on something right. Because it's like my nose itching like heck. And it's just like when they do that, they say you're on the right, you know, you're on the right path, you're on the right subject. Okay, thank you. You know, you're going through different things like this and it made me make cautious choices. It made you have cautious choices. And it's just like when you go through these toxic relationships and you're really seeing how it's draining you. He got you putting through changes. Because I tell people, when you're when a person loves you, they're not going to have you to where you got to constantly go flipping through their phone and looking at text messages, emails, what they say in on, you know, what, what's in, who's going to slide into the DM. If they really love you, they're going to do everything in their power to let you know that you're appreciated. You're, you're not gonna, never going to take you for granted. They know what they got when they with you because they knew that. That was a whole blessing of a prize that you really don't want to fumble you know that person is going to want to see the good out in you they want to see the best out of you not stress out on you you know you ain't gonna be with somebody who's gonna stress you out to where you crying all time of day and night wondering why does this person keep taking me through these different changes you know different things like that where that person is like you can be vulnerable with them you know and they're they're gonna allow help you heal different things like that it was like you know uh some women you know you will be left alone where a man will put you in pieces and you can have a blessing that god designed for you where a man's gonna he gonna see them pieces and bring you back to peace you know and those different things so that's why i allow myself to not submit because it's just like that's dangerous and, you know especially with you know people that have multiple people i don't know <laughs> i said no i see where that goes to and i said my life is priceless to me i don't want to be one of those people where i got so much to where i haven't really even explored life it's like even when you're in your 40s it's like i'm 45 and i said i really haven't even really explored life because i've gone through so many different things and i'm starting to know myself loving myself you know in a whole new different level allowing myself to not sit up here and entertain toxicity because these are the different things where people do this just to see if they have control over you and you know when you're allowing yourself to focus on you and you you know people get mad because you're allowing yourself to heal like i'm not focusing on you why do you keep focusing on me this is where you get your feelings hurt at if you weren't watching me so much and you weren't spying on me so much i would not become a trigger to you if you work on your own self this is what I'm doing. If you you know you want to take notes, this is what I'm doing. You know, I'm allowing myself to heal. Part ways with things that are no longer serving me. You know, you see how I'm just trying, you know, shoot. Be like, you know, that 
I put a video out was it a few weeks ago uh, on uh, on the reels where you see this man brought this little lizard in. When I tell you that that little gecko hall, but that's exactly me. Would you gotta give me that daggone chance to get away from all this toxicity? I'm hauling ass. I don't want to be around that. <laughs> you know, this is like this is hazardous to my health. I don't got time for that. But until then. I allow myself to not even pull myself in those different situations because you're seeing when people are constantly always trying to get you get up under your skin and stuff like that that's more of a personal issue because they don't like the fact they don't like this new person because you're putting up boundaries you, you know you uh, you're, you're not allowing yourself to uh, conversate at a low frequency vibration if they can't meet you at that situation you know at that elevation they don't need to be meeting you at all it's like don't be lowering and watering yourself to get to that you mess up yourself every single time you disrespect and discard yourself every single time these are those different situations where it's showing you rise above if they meant to be there they'll get there don't hold off for people waiting for them to change because if you be waiting for folks to change, you'll be waiting for a long daggone time. You know how many daggone blessings you're missing out on because you're focusing on somebody who just refused to do that. You keep moving. You know, if it meant to be, I said, if it meant to be for us to reconnect again, we'll do that. But other than that, I'm, I'm going to do me. And that's why I love doing me because I see even when the positivity that I do or, you know, I'm, I'm telling the truth about things that you really try to project as a lie, it becomes irritating because it's like I, I, pro, I prove that, you know. Uh, it'll be different things that I go through and it's just like I appreciate the things that I go through. And it's like not to be talking about my ex in a, in a, um, in a lower demeanor or anything, but he really is a blessing in disguise for me because it always shows me this is not what I want in my life. I, you, I had to let you go because you couldn't reach the reach the uh, expectations that I needed you to reach you couldn't do it so I had to allow you to go go back to the streets I'll leave you at the streets and let you do what you need to do and go about your business I really wish you well but I'm going to go about mine I know what I want in life and I can't get that with you because I already see that you will be my biggest downfall and I need an upgrade so I had to be able to do that so when you're going through different things and it's like you you're right now you're at that pinnacle where you may be a fork in the road you may be seeing symbolisms you may see it um, on uh, you know different social medias or you, you daydream or you see different things to symbolize you're on a crossroad to where you're having that wake-up call you see how life is you've gone through all these crazy experiences you know uh it, it may have took you through so many different changes but these are the things that we taught to be able to heal ourselves um to be able to transform ourselves and when you're doing that it's no easy task it'll be a lot of blood sweat and tears it'll be a lot of times you're just ready to obliterate everything because stuff got real for you and these are the different things is where you notice like when you're not allowing yourself to go through the things that universe is teaching you to because it's like it, it's getting crazy that's why it's just like when I have people that's trying to go out their way and really hurt me I'm gonna step back I see you, you pointed that out yeah I pointed that out like okay you know just allow myself just step back because when people are going out their way to constantly hurt you and, you know and people get cocky I always tell people you know when you when you get cocky like that you know this is how folks always get caught up when you're doing so many different things and you feel like you're above everything you can't be touched and it'll be that time where you know God gonna really smack you down to reality and you're gonna understand it's gonna be those situations where you'll be in a situation where it's gonna make you really regret that the choices you made to go out of somebody's go out of your way to really hurt somebody who really truly cared about you you know or really that person really wanted to see you grow but you refused to do that now it's just like you know I do my own thing but it's, it's like when I say that and I mean it when I say it and it's not being funny and as soon as I said it my nose started itching again it was like that that was my fuel to make, make me stay better because it's just like if you keep doing that this is what it's going to wind up to so let me go ahead and get you know get to work because I sure must have used that as a fuel like oh lord I'm ready to part ways with this this person this situation just be able to move on because I deserve something so much better you know and it's just at that point where there's a lot of people that will be in your life that are really you are a walking trigger you don't have to be you, you can be focusing on you and you're still a walking trigger because they're not getting your attention they can't manipulate you anymore they can't trigger you anymore you're ready to part ways with them and you, you they're losing their supply you know there people want to be you know they want to keep you around because they like the fact I say you have to have really low self-esteem when you're going out your way to always keep poking at somebody they ain't even dealing with you you know I say I stay in my room you know I meditate you know I talk to you know different people where I'm corresponding with uh you know different you know 
what is it, uh, spiritual networking and stuff like that, having intellectual conversations, not nothing that's going to be, you know, draining to me, but just being able to move and learn different stuff in life that, you know, I can really truly appreciate. So if you're going through, you know, different toxic th things right now, excuse me, different toxic things right now is really showing you, uh, you know, a clear you know, direction on how your life can really be to make better choices within your life. Don't ever regret the people that you met that, you know, didn't turn out right. Don't ever regret from the, the decisions you didn't make the right time because these are lessons that you'll end up appreciating way down the road. So I hope you can uh, relate to the content of my video. It is truly appreciated. You know, I love, thank y'all for uh, subscribing. It's truly appreciated. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, uh, Craig. Much love to you. Um, what is it? Uh, knob, knob type gems. Much love to you. And Jesse V. Much love to you. If you're new to the channel, drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. Um, it's all about spiritual networking. You know, being able to share different situations you may have been in. You know, I know a lot of times it's like when we go through stuff. Is you know, you don't want to be misunderstood. You don't want to be judged. You know, anything like that. You're just trying to understand why did life unfold the way it did. You know, and I always feel like it's a blessing to be able to interact with people. And you're just trying to find your way. You're just trying to find your tribe or your purpose. And I love to be a part of that with other people. It's like we're student teacher situations. It's really helping us grow. So. Um, you know, I'll be able to do that. You know, we can, you know, whatever we talk talk about is confidential and be able to help the best way I can. If you're on a community page, I leave so many different memes or different, uh, uh, different things to, you know, brighten up your day or, you know, just have you like funny empath memes that just really make you laugh, you know, stuff like that. And I also have my podcast there as well on my community section. If you would love to, you know, listen to some of those, you know, it's not the same thing I do on here, but it's on the different, you know, s different subjects about hey yogas and stuff like that. You know, if you would like to do that, um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah. If you, you feel generous enough, drop a donation cash app is at the bottom. You want to donate to the channel. Um, anything that you're working on, you're, you're working on your money to bring into fruition and you're really having issues with that, keep going. You know, we're going through a lot of changes right now. It may feel unbearable. It got you all in confusion and tusions, whatever. You know, allow yourself to be consistent. You know, if you got to take a rest and reset, recharge, do that. But get right back up and go back again. Because, you know, life is teaching you through the hardships that you got to face. It's always going to lead you towards rainbows of infinite blessings. So, you know, stay woke, stay persistent and consistent. You know, know your, you know your power, know your light. You know, devil will do everything he possibly can to try to convince you that things will never get better. You know, because he can sit up here and see the blessings as a right around the corner. You can get your blessings tomorrow. That's why he's trying to sit up here and make you give up today. So you keep going. So please have a safe weekend. Be responsible with everything you do, even through social distancing. Make sure that you, you know, you give out love, light, positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know. All those things can really take you a long way. Much love to you. God bless. Namaste. I say shalom. Peace.